Hello and welcome. In this particular video, we'll try to explore about the communication between producer and consumer with respect to COCO TB, coroutine based co simulation testing. And we can get this uh, you know task communication in Python class called Q. So Python has this class Q which allows task communication and we can get the CocoTB Q by importing it from module CocoTB.Q. Okay. So the simple example for that is from CocoTB.Q we can import this Q. Okay. So this you will understand when we'll see the practical example. And as you are aware uh, that there are two kinds of communication can be possible blocking as well as non-blocking if you are familiar with system verilog version of uv you can find uh, we can get the blocking communication using put and get method and the non-blocking communication can be achieved using try put and try get method Similar to that, here also in CocoTB, we can make use of two coroutines for getting this blocking communication or to implement this blocking communication. And what are those coroutines? Put and get. Uh, now, blocking communication means uh, these are the tasks which blocks until uh, it sends or received data. And a simple example is that producer and consumer communication. So producer sends the data through queue and consumer consume it. Now there are two use cases of that. First one is the producer produce all the data and consumer receive all the data in the same order. Another one is that if you want a scenario that producer produce a data and wait till the consumer received it we can also get that kind of scenarios we'll try to explore these two scenarios in this exam in this video so first scenario let's try to understand that so in case of coco tb if you want to make use of coco tb in our example we have to import coco tb from coco tb dot triggers we are importing this timer because we are using the await timer statement at the end of this test right test coroutine you can see over here and we have to import uh, this coco tb how we ask we have to import this queue how to import that from coco tb dot q import q so this q is capital over here right? q is small u E U E and import logging if we want to make use of logging mechanism of Python and here uh, we are setting this uh, logging to this logger object so logger is equal to logging dot get log oh, very simple now let me explain you the producer coroutine coroutine uh, you can consider it as a task in case of system very right? So how to define a coroutine here in case of Python, we have to make use of this async keyword. If we are defining a coroutine in CocoTB, we have to make use this, uh, of this async keyword. Async def producer, you can give any name. And in the parenthesis, I'm giving the self as a keyword. You can make use of any keyword, whatever you want. You, you can use Q here instead of this self now here i am using one for loop for i in the range of 10 so what it will do it will generate uh, you know 10 values 0 to 9 and here i am using await self dot put within parenthesis this i will so whatever the value it is generating i am putting in that using put put uh, you know method put coroutine so this put already I told you that it will 
implement a block in communication okay. and just i'm using the info statement to print this you know whatever the data it is putting logger dot info within parenthesis using f string producer send and in the curly bracket bracket i'm using this i variable similarly now let me explain you the consumer class remember in case of uh, coco tb or python if you want the task to be returned something we have to use this await keyword at right hand side of this equal to symbol okay so that we are you know we, we can uh, return a value from this you know task or coroutine you can say. so async def consumer in the parenthesis i am giving a self as a keyword and i am using a while loop and giving a true for that and i am getting the value in this i variable okay so i is equal to wait statement self dot q and just a logger dot info to print that data received data using f string and remember this get coroutine also is used for implementing a block in communication now inside the test coroutine we have to use at the rate coco tv dot test so this decorator tells coco tv or you can say notify coco tv that the following coroutine is a test so this following coroutine is a test for this it will notify i think the sample test you can give any name and we are not make use we are not using any argument so you can give underscore in the parenthesis okay. now here i am using an infinity long queue so self is a keyword i am assigning that is equal to q which is an infinity in nature and if you want to launch the task in case of coco tb we can make use of this coco tb dot start soon function within parenthesis we have to provide the task or coroutine which is a producer and within next parenthesis self as a keyword similarly for uh, you know launching a consumer consumer task we have to use coco tb dot start soon within parenthesis consume and i'm make using here the await timer statement so after two time minute it will uh, you know show us the test pass if the test is passing passing okay. and finish the simulation now remember in case of uh, system very log how we are calling a task and how we are launching a task we can make use of initial begin block we can make use of form join form join and in form join in similar to that we can make use of this coco tb dot start soon you know function in order to launch a task in coco tb so very simple what we are expecting here the producer you know we are using for loop over there so it will generate some 10 values okay and the consumer will receive those same 10 values in same order okay so let's try to ex you know understand this result so just you have to use make command over here it will run the simulation and you can see over here producer is sending 0 to 9 okay in the same order the consumer is receiving 0 to 9 this is what the one use case let me show you another use case in which we want the producer to send a data and it will wait till the consumer receives it now how to achieve that we can make use of uh, you know size variable maximum size keyword over here so let me show you that also so the entire example you know the same example just uh, we are making use of this maximum size is equal to n so what it will do uh, you know as as i told you that if you want the producer to block until consumer receive it we can make use of this maximum size to end maximum size is equal to 
uh, if you are using one so what it will do the producer produce one and it will wait the consumer to consume it similarly producer you know send a uh, second data and consumer received it so that kind of scenarios uh, you know achieved using this uh, maximum size is equal to 1 if you are using in this queue okay. so let me uh, show you the result for this the entire code is same just we are using that maximum size is equal to 1 in this queue within parenthesis so if you analyze this result you will find that the producer is sending 0 then consumer is receiving that 0 similarly then producer send 1 consumer receive that one and so on till 9 now if you want that producer to send uh, you know two values and it will wait the consumer you know receive two we can make use of maximum size x is equal to two over here let me run this code make command and if you just run you will find that producer is sending two values 0 and 1 and then consumer is receiving 0 and 1 producer similarly producing sending producer is sending 2 and 3 and consumer is receiving 2 and 3 and so on ok so this is what the uh, blocking communication uh, you know with respect to coco tv with a very simple example in the next example, we'll try to explore about the non-blocking communication between producer and consumer with respect to co-coating, co-routine based co-simulation testing. Okay, so with this, I hope you have understood the you know, concept of uh, task communication, how we are using in case of co TV, how we are uh, importing that Q class to make this and also i hope you enjoyed this so thanks for watching thank you